Traders, today we are showing you our all new chart type, which you can find in the chart type menu, time, price, opportunity. That's right, this requested indicator is now a chart type. It is a way for you to visualize price, to look at distribution of price over specific blocks of time. And once you select this chart type, Give your chart a second to calculate all of the data that it's processing, and then you'll see these blocks just like this, whereby you can analyze price by specific blocks of time. This is really powerful. We're going to explain to you how it works, all of the features with it, and one of the first things to know is that you can access your settings menu just as you would any other chart type to get started. Now we're gonna add some features back to this. We sort of had this default template up for you just to get this uh, video tutorial started, but we're gonna add the price line back because you can have your TPO with a price line running in the background. Now that price line is priced currently on close, but you can have it set to open, high, low, close, or some combination of them. In addition, because we're on a daily chart, this, this white price line is following like we would any other chart. It's a daily interval showing us price over each day. So now by having this line on the chart, we can see the price for each day, but more importantly, we can see the distribution of trading activity by these specific time blocks. Okay, what does that mean? Well, that's the next part of the chart settings that we have to get into so that you understand. First of all, our periods are currently set to one day. We also have this daily chart. So these distributions here show a full day of trading. But if we wanted, we could look at it weekly or monthly, and we can combine these visuals with our intervals as needed. But right now, what we should do is explain to you these time blocks because that is the key to knowing this tool. So this block size here is essential that you understand. Right now, by default, it's set to 30 minutes, but we can do this by one hour, by two hours, or four hours. So what does that mean? Well, when it's set to 30 minutes, what that means is that you follow the time price opportunity like the alphabet, where each next letter represents this, this specific time period, which would be 30 minutes of trading. So you can see this, these A's here. Well, this is your first 30 minutes of trading. B would be your next 30 minutes of trading. So these blocks are showing you the trading activity every 30 minutes. That's why it's called time price opportunity. You're looking for opportunities within these defined price blocks that you are determining the time frame of. Now we're gonna tell you why that matters and how to use it, but let us just walk you through that one more time. Block size 30 minutes. And you can even see here, it says open here. So at the open, first 30 minutes right here. Also within that 30 minutes, it looks like price climbed. And then the next 30 minutes is represented by these Bs. And then the next 30 minutes is represented by these Cs. And then the next 30 minutes D, and then the next 30 minutes E's, so you can see E's here. And actually as the day went on, because remember we're moving down the alphabet every next 30 minutes, Apple just kept climbing higher and higher. By the time we got to H, look at this. And actually, wow, closed near the highs of the day. And you can see these M's here then would be the last 30 minutes of the day or so. So that is the key to understanding time price opportunities. And now what we want to do is walk you through all of these other features available to you. But there's two things we want to do before we do that. First of all, why does this matter? Well, this matters for two reasons, especially these two reasons, but there are more. We're going to give you the basics. First of all, you can see a distribution of price action throughout set periods of time, meaning you're looking for equilibrium. Where are the traders meeting, the buyers and the sellers? What, what time periods are attracting the most trading volume? And where is that equilibrium price? Or let's consider the opposite of that. Where is sort of the, 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 the lack of liquidity, the inefficient prices? Well, look at H. It, it, price barely sat here, 171. It got to 171 and just took off. Every other price, so you can see here, every other price point on the chart, remember this is the price scaler on the right, has at least two letters. Here's L and M, J, K, L, M, J, K, L, I, J. Every, every time, every price range has at least two letters. 
except for 171. So from about $171 a share, 171.70 to $171 even, there was just one 30 minute trading session. Well, that might tell you that's either two things. Perhaps it's an inefficient price. Perhaps if price gets back in there, be ready. There's going to be lack of liquidity or price is going to skip. There might be some slippage or perhaps it just means that bulls took control. Look at the close up here and it just took off. So you can read through these letters to understand where the price distribution is occurring, whether you're looking for the most trading action or the least. Now that brings us to the second component about why this tool is important. And for those of you who are traders, say the first 30 minutes, a lot of traders just trade the first 30 minutes. Some traders just trade the last 30 minutes. Well, there's really no better tool to analyze those specific time periods than time price opportunities. Now recall that A's in this example mean the first 30 minutes of trading. Say you are a trader looking to trade Apple, this is AAPL, at the first 30 minutes each day. Well, look how easily you can look at today's price action. So you can get a feel now for the range. Look at these two A's. Now let's look at yesterday's. Okay, there's three A's now. So yesterday's open actually had the largest range of the day, essentially. Well, actually here's B's, so it also had a large range. But what you're starting to gather now by doing this research is how volatile has Apple's open been? How ready should I be for tomorrow's open? How ready should I be for the open on average? And you can go back in time and review that by finding the time blocks that you're looking to study or trade or analyze and checking them out just like this. Now that does bring us to a very important feature in the chart settings that we want to walk you through. And that is the split by blocks feature. The reason why we want to show you this tool now is because a lot of new traders to time price opportunities may still not understand what it means, but by using this tool, you can really see it now progress over time because now we're quite literally aligning each time block and sort of pushing them forward in a sequential order. We're moving on throughout the day. Remember, block size is set to 30 minutes. So A, first 30 minutes, B, next 30 minutes, C, next 30 minutes. And now you're actually seeing it move throughout the day because we've split by blocks. So now we're seeing the day progress as needed. If we uncheck this, it stacks it on top of each other. A lot of traders do prefer to keep these blocks stacked on top of each other because at the end of the day, you get to feel the range, the distribution, and the price levels that sort of attracted the most trading activity in each time blocks time block. But if you're a new trader, this simple button here, split by blocks, just illustrates how this tool works a little bit better. Now, a few other key details to know, and by the way, by default, you're going to have a volume profile added to your chart. You can have a volume profile with time price opportunities. We started this video without the volume profile added because our goal was to keep things rather simple and keep your eyes fixated on these letters. But if you'd like, you can have the volume profile selected and now you can see the trading volume right here. Here's the trading volume alongside the specific time blocks where all the trading action is occurring throughout the day. Very powerful combination of two tools. Keep in mind, if you want to learn more about volume profiles, we have tons of videos on our YouTube channel, and we have a comprehensive help center that covers volume profiles in detail, including the value area high of those volume profiles, the value area low, and the point of control. Of course, there's no reason for us to go through these now because we're going to go through them in the, in the context of time price opportunities. So we're going to hide our volume profile for now. Here's our volume profile. Now, what we want to pay attention to here are all of these features on this volume profile. Okay, let's talk about volume, value area high and value area low. These two tools connect to the value area. Right now, value area is set to 100%. Well, that means we want to see the highs and the lows of the whole range that we're looking at. But say, for example, you only want to see where all the trading action happened within 70% of this TPO. So you're sort of constricting the value area that you want to analyze. Well, now you can see the difference. Look at the value area high. It's come down from the top. 
value area low has managed to stay here, but now you're seeing 70% of this TPO, which can be very interesting because at the end of the day, you're looking at this from a sense of distribution and trying to get a feel for where the equilibrium price is, or maybe trying to spot those inefficiencies, which is rather interesting because our value area in this example is set to 70%, and this is the value area high, but look at the close. It says close right here. It closed way above the value area high. So maybe price has been inefficient throughout the whole day, and the bulls just quite simply won today's trading activity, and maybe that's some insights into tomorrow. So that is the key to understanding value area high and value area low. They are connected to the value area percentage that you select. Now, another important feature here, and we're actually going to hide these for now because we want to keep this rather simple, is that you do have the capability to show the blocks or not or show the letters or not. Now, some traders quite literally don't need letters. They're just so good at understanding the color gradients that they've selected. They're so good at understanding the feel of this and the distribution that they don't need to see the letters. Others prefer not to see the blocks. They just want to see the letters because now they can see the line chart a little bit better. So the choice here is ultimately all yours. By default, these are both selected because you can just tell here it's rather easy to read now that you've watched enough of this video. Let's talk about the point of control because this is incredibly important. So the point of control or POC, you can see here colors all of these blocks white or returns them to their color gradients. The point of control in the context of the time price opportunities shows you where the most trading action happened within all of these time blocks that you've set to 30 minutes. It's called the point of control because the theory might be, this is one way to think about it, you may think about it differently, but this is just to get your mind turning for information education, is if all the trading activity, the majority of it happened in this region, well, this is the area to decide who's going to get control, the bulls or the bears. Where is, is this equilibrium price or not? Where should price really head? Well, price closed up here and the point of control was down here, so you can maybe say the bulls won, where all of the trading action happened on this TPO chart was right here, the close was up here. Wow, what a battle over all these 30-minute time blocks. It became one of the most traded actions of the day, and after all of it was said and done, price just kept going all the way up to this close, the bulls won. Now you can see that point of control, it's totally up to you, it gets color coded white as needed, as you can see, oops, sorry, point of control, or if you turn it off, it has those different colors. Now, there's a little, probably have about three to five more minutes left here to show you some final features that are just so important. And that is the capability to show the open price or the close price. Now, the reason why this matters, especially the open price, is because we want to take you back to the start of the video where we demonstrated that perhaps you only trade the opening session. Well, by having the open price shown here, you really know where the price opened at and the different time blocks that occurred here within that open. So now you can't miss it because by the way, if you have the open price turned off here, it's a little hard to really discern where the open is. If you have the close price turned off, it's a little hard to discern where the exact close is. So with this feature, you get this added label that you just can't miss that shows you where these two important points are. Now the poor high and the poor low, you're going to see these sort of purple dotted lines here. See these? These are trying to show you areas on the chart where there just wasn't that much conviction or there wasn't a full sort of uh, 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 blast through at those levels. So you might think of those as sort of the high or lows of the range you're looking at but also where there might be some opportunity for a pricing inefficiency. In our help center, we walk you through the poor highs and poor lows in more details. They can sometimes be for a more advanced trader, but it's a way for you to mark down sort of where the highest point on the range was with sort of the least amount of rejection, if, 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 you, if you will. So a great example is look at JKLNM. As you can see there's four time blocks here. At the close, there were just two, but it also happens to be at the high, so it's considered the poor high. Now, if we didn't do a good job explaining that, don't worry, our help center has more, 
But the key here of this video is we wanted to walk you through this new tool because it is now available to all paying members on TradingView. This is the time price opportunity chart type. And don't forget about how many helpful articles we have in our help center about time price opportunities, but also on our YouTube channel, we show you the time price opportunities indicator. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't want to use time price opportunities as a chart type, you can use it as an indicator and overlay that indicator on all of these other chart types or any other chart type that you've created or coded from scratch. So this is all here for you now available to paying members. Please go give it a try and let us know in the comments below if you have any questions or comments, want to provide feedback. This tool will only get better as we progress forward. It now comes with your subscription. Thanks for watching.